going to talk Detroit Lions versus Washington Commanders in this video. Give you my thoughts on how this game potentially could play out. We'll do the pros, the cons, player v. player, who to watch for, all of that. But before we get into today's video, if you think it's a smart and sound idea to go up to somebody who has the flu and decide, I'm just going to go ahead and lick their face and breathe in from their mouth, go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we took all things Detroit Lions news and rumors. Sometimes being a Lions fan, you can get sick. Also, take that like button with you and let that bad boy get a high temperature. Let's get into today's Lions vs. Commanders. Sorry for the lack of graphics in this video. This is what happens when you feel like a pile of crap. And that's what I do right now because I'm dealing with a nasty bug giving me a high temperature, hence the intro. But let's go ahead and talk about this game and really what needs to be done, you know, the X factors and all of that. First off, we've got to talk about the Washington Commanders offense. Their offense has a lot of speed. Their wide receivers are very fast. You know, we talk about the Miami Dolphins with their speed, but I tell you what, they got speed as well. And now the names aren't as known as majority of the names in the NFL, but I tell you what, Jahan Dotson and Terry McLaurin, they got a lot of fast and speed to their game. And if you know about the Detroit Lions secondary right now, Amania Warrior has problems with speed. So this is going to be a tough matchup. I'm not really worried about Jeffrey Akuda, whether he be guarding Terry or whether he regard Jahan. But I am worried about Amania Warrior able to stay with one of these wide receivers in the speed game. If you looked at the Eagles game, it was Jeffrey Akuda who was matched up with Devonta Smith, the speed receiver for the Philadelphia Eagles. But now this team has a ton of speed. So let me know in the comment section, how concerned are you about the wide receivers in the speed from the commanders in our defensive backs? One being not concerned at all. 10 being extremely concerned. Let me know in the comment section. That's going to be the pinned comment for this video. I got to say I'm concerned here because the defensive backs for the Detroit Lions aren't as good as the wide receivers. The matchup seems to be a little bit off if you ask B. Now, if you were to say what wide receiver is better than what wide receiver, I could say, okay, yeah, the Lions wide receivers. They, you know, they have an edge here or there, but they're not going against each other, go against the Lions defense. So I think that they're going to be able to pick up some yards and they're going to make some big plays. You know, for the Lions to be able to stop these receivers, it's really going to count on the defensive line for the Detroit Lions. Now, when it comes to Carson Wentz, he's not he is not Jalen Hurts. Yeah, he does got some speed. He's able to get scramble out of the pocket, but he's not the same. Jalen Hurts is on a different level. He's probably the number two quarterback in the NFL regarding scrambling ability right next to Lamar Jackson. And you can go to Patrick Mahomes, and there's other quarterbacks out there. And if you looked at the Lions defensive line, they were so close to getting to Jalen Hurts on a lot of plays this past Sunday. And I think they'll be able to get to Jalen Hurts in this game. How much? Yet to be seen, but I think Aiden Hutchinson, Charles Harris, and Austin Bryant will get some sacks in this game, and they will push Wentz to throw the football a little bit early, and hopefully that screws up the route running with the wide receivers in the big plays that they're going to try to do here. So to me, the X factor is the speed that Washington has, and that can hurt the Lions on defense. Now, they do got Logan Thomas as a tight end. He was actually a former Detroit Lion. Now, he's not the greatest tight end in the world, but he's not bad at all. He can make some plays as long as he's healthy, and he deals with health issues, but he should be good to go in this game. No problem there. The matchup between him and the Lions linebackers, that's a mismatch. Again, the Lions linebackers are a problem. Will Malcolm Rodriguez be the guy to cover Logan Thomas? Potentially, that could be. He is the best linebacker on our team. Or it could be Alex Anzalone, who was getting a lot of tackles this past game. But again, he does miss tackles as well. Still, I would give a matchup problem here with the Washington Commanders tight end in this game for sure. The offensive line for the Commanders is not bad. Now, they're a top three or top third of the NFL, you know, some PFF gives them eight. 
NFL gives them 12. Either way, they're a pretty good offensive line as a, a top 10, top 12 offensive line, wherever you want to put it. So our defensive lines have to be able to break on their line. I think it's going to be a mixed bag. If you look at the Philadelphia Eagles, it's a mixed bag as well. And Philadelphia arguably, arguably has the best or second best offensive line in the NFL. So I'm going to give the edge here a little bit to the Lions defensive line. I think they're going to be able to get some plays on Wentz, and then they're going to get beat up. How well will the Commanders run the football? I think they're going to run it fairly easy. If you look at, again, the Eagles, the Lions got ran down heavily. It was no problem for the Philadelphia Eagles to run the football, and I think it's for Antonio Gibson for the Washington Commanders. They're going to run the football quite a bit. They're probably going to get 150 yards rushing. It would not shock me at all. So the Lions are going to have to be able to stop them on third down because they're going to be able to get first and second down. They're going to be able to get those big yards on the ground. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a problem all season long. And Gibson's not the greatest running back in the world, but you don't have to be. He's a solid running back. And with, with the inability for Lions defensive line and, of course, the linebackers stop the run, he's going to put up some big numbers against – Detroit, and that sucks. Carson Wentz, we know what he is. He had a solid game against the Jacksonville Jaguars, but we've seen him against the Colts. We've seen him throughout his career or with the Colts and with the Philadelphia Eagles, and he's not the greatest quarterback in the world. He can get had, but he can make some plays at well, and he can make some turnovers. So he's one of those guys that will take a little bit more of a risk. It's going to be difficult. Again, it's who is going to be the matchup with the wide receiver. So he'll be a problem. He's going to get his. But I think the Lions will will get some sacks. I think the Lions could get a turnover, one or two of them, as well as an interception. So I expect him to get a couple touchdowns, and I expect the Lions defense to get some as well. So it's not going to be a full-on beat like Jalen Hurts did to the Lions defense. I think the Lions will have some as well. So regarding the Detroit Lions, we got a hell of a wide receiver core. Now, we have some drops week one against the Philadelphia Eagles. They got to work on that. But again, I think they got better in the second half of the game. They really showed that they can make some big plays. Amon Ross St. Brown and Josh Reynolds and DJ Charks. Not, I, I believe that the Eagles' secondary is better than the Washington secondary. I do, and I think they're going to get theirs. And the Lions scored some points, 35 points against them. Some of some of that was in this, this you know third fourth quarter, but at the end of the day, the Lions don't give up. That's the type of team they are. I think they can be able to get Kendall Fuller. I think they can be able to beat uh, you know some of their safeties there. You know Bobby McCrane and Curl there. I think they can. I think the Lions will take advantage from a wide receiver standpoint. They're going to get some big plays. It's all really going to be on Jared Goff. Can he get the football to them? It's good golf, bad golf. We've seen that last game. We've seen it all last year. Can he start off hot? Can that go on? So I'm confident in the wide receivers. I think they'll do better catching the football. Not 100% confident if it's going to happen because, like we've seen last week, three straight drives with nothing going on even though you expect it. TJ Hawkinson, I expect him to have a better game this week. He should be able, to be able to exploit the defense. I think the linebackers are pretty good for the commanders, but they're not as good as the Philadelphia Eagles. I do think the Eagles had a better uh, middle of the field there. They got Jamin Davis, Cole Holcomb, and David uh, Mayo. TJ Hawkins has got to step up in this game. We said it last, last week. We said it the other day. He's got to step up in a big way. That's who Jared Goff looked to if there's a problem, and guess what? If you look at the defensive line of the Washington Commanders, again, another damn good defensive line. <laughs> I mean, we're going up defensive line against defensive line against defensive line. These guys are good. Montez Sweat, damn good defensive lineman. Good edge. He's going to get pressure. Probably going to get a sack here. The line's offensive line's really good. You know, top five offensive line. They're graded out as four this past week, uh, you know, for the NFL.com. Yeah, PFF, they gave them a poor grade, but... <laughs> I really did, I didn't really see it. I mean, we gave up a sack and we ran the football 144 yards. Jared Goff was under pressure against one of the best defensive line in football. Did a decent job here, but the, uh, again, this is another defensive line that's going to be coming at you. They also got Deron Payne, a good interior defensive lineman. How is he going to do against 
you know, Frank Ragnow, Stenberg, if he's going to be in there for the lineman, Jonah Jackson, that's going to be an interesting matchup as well. I still think the line's going to be able to win this battle on the offensive line. I think they're just better. They're a damn good offensive line. And they're going to be able to run the football like they did last week. Now, are they going to get a hundred. Is Swift going to get 144 yards? Probably not. That's that's difficult. Plus, if you look at the Lions, they're not doing full, you know, 25 carries for Swift. They're doing more of the 15. So I think Swift's going to get his. He's going to make some big time plays and out of the backfield as well. I think he's going to be a nightmare. You'll be curious to see if they give Craig Reynolds a shot because if you look at Jamal Williams, he had issues running the football unless they needed to get that one yard or that touchdown at the goal line. That will be interesting to see how they do there. All in all, I think the Lions should win this game, folks. I really do. They're favored to win the game right now. They're favored by two. I think the Lions can win 27-21. to I think they're a better football team. It's at home as well. It's not on the road. And generally, going against the the Washington Commanders this year, their football team last year, and then the obviously the the name that you can't say before, whatever uh, the they beat them. They've been beating them, and I think they're going to do it again. I think they're just a better football team right now for the spot where they're at. So I'm going to give the Lions the victory here, 27 to 21. And we should be 1-1 one and one in this game. But, again, you know, Lions players, they can't sleep on the Commanders. And they're not going to. It's not like the, the Lions could sleep on any team. They got to they gotta win to prove it. But let me know in the comments section who do you got winning this game. Do you got the Commanders? Do you got the Lions? What is your predictions? Blow up the comments section with your initial thoughts on this game. I'm fully... Curious to see what you have on this. Uh, hopefully, the Lions don't disappoint, because if they do, that's a bad thing. With that said, folks, adios. <laughs>